This issue begins with Charles shooting some hoops in the mansion's gym. Yup, he can walk again. He's interrupted by the same psychic attack that's been ailing him for the past few issues, except now he recognizes it to be some sort of psychic probe. Storm joins him in the gym and they discuss her recent changes. She acknowledges that her new demeanor frightens even her, but Charles assures her she's not going insane, and Storm decides she must do some soul searching to better understand the new her. Meanwhile, Kitty and Doug Ramsey are playing at an arcade when Kitty suddenly overloads the console with too many points and the manager bans them for life. They have lunch and chat about what's happening in their lives, Kitty confiding in him about how the new storm scares her, and Doug telling Kitty he's got an interview for the Massachusetts Academy. Back at the mansion, Colossus busies himself by chopping down a tree to distract himself from thinking about Kitty and Doug. Wolverine joins him and tries to assure Colossus that any jealousy is all in his head, but Colossus isn't buying it. Storm's soul-searching takes her to a botanical garden where she visits some old plant friends and busts up a botched robbery by some common street thugs. Xavier calls her back to the mansion where everyone is assembled to discuss Doug's interview. Kitty suggests that she accompany Doug to keep him safe from the Hellfire Club, even though the White Queen's currently in a coma. Charles and Storm agree, and Xavier reveals that Doug is actually a mutant himself, much to Kitty's surprise. Later, Kitty is suddenly swept into the sky by Storm, who confronts Kitty about the cold shoulder she's been giving her. Kitty denounces the new Storm, wishing that she would go back to the way she was, but Storm tells her that she's on a new journey of self-discovery, and even though it frightens her, it's something she has to do. She asks for Kitty's patience and understanding while she tries to figure things out, and Kitty hesitantly agrees. Later, Kitty and Doug are taking off on their private jet to the Academy when who should appear from behind the curtain but the Hellfire Club's white queen, Miss Emma Frost herself. Kitty cries a mental distress call for Xavier to help, but he's unable to answer. He and the team are investigating the source of the psychic probe that attacked him earlier. They stumble across a huge structure in the middle of Central Park, and as they enter the gate, they disappear entirely, ready to enter the secret war. That's it, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Big Talk video on this issue and subscribe for more great experimentations.